Hi, in this video, I will be showing you problem number 19 of chapter 2, section 4 in the practice exam. Prove the statement using epsilon delta definition of a limit. Limit is x approaching 1, 10 plus 2x over 3 equal to 4. Um, so we will start off with the definition of uh, limit through epsilon delta. Given an epsilon positive, we have to find out a delta positive such that if 0 less than absolute x minus a is less than delta, then absolute fx minus l would be less than epsilon. In this case, we have to identify in our problem what this a is, what l is. a is 1, x is approaching 1, so a equal to 1. Then the limit value is given to be equal to 4. We have to prove that to be equal to 4. So L will be equal to L. So now we will retrace. We will actually um, apply this definition uh, for our problem with A replaced by 1 and L replaced by L. So rewriting the statement. So given an epsilon positive, we have to find a delta positive such that if 0 less than absolute x minus 1 is less than delta then fx minus l f, f of x is 10 plus 2x over 3 here so 10 plus 2x over 3 minus L, L equal to 4 in our problem is less than epsilon. But um, let's see what this expression means. Absolute 10 plus 2x over 3 minus 4 less than epsilon would imply and implied by absolute 10 plus 2x minus 12 so 4 times 3 12 divided by 3 less than epsilon. This would imply and implied by absolute 2x minus 2 divided by 3 is less than epsilon implies and implied by 2 times absolute x minus 1 over 3 less than epsilon which implies and implied by absolute x minus 1 is less than 3 epsilon over 2. So we have to choose our delta in such a way that when absolute x minus 1 is less than delta then absolute 10 plus 2x over 3 minus 4 is less than epsilon. Now if you look at the statement here absolute x minus 1 less than delta And absolute x minus 1 is 3 epsilon, less than 3 epsilon over 2. It suggests that if I choose delta to be smaller than or equal to 3 epsilon over 2, then what this would mean is um, absolute x, this would mean absolute x minus 1 less than delta would mean absolute x minus 1 less than 3 epsilon over 2 which in turn would mean 2 over 3 absolute x minus 1 is less than epsilon which would mean so you can go backwards and retrace the steps so it is 2x minus 2 over 3 is less than epsilon which would mean so if you're going backwards 10 plus 2 2x um, over 3 minus 4 is less than epsilon. So this shows that when I choose delta, if delta is chosen as smaller than or equal to 3 epsilon equal 3 epsilon over 2, then we are proving a limit x approaching 1 of 10 plus 2x over 3 equal to 4. So either we can go one way 
and use implies and implied by notation to show everything which means both way we are to proving necessary and sufficient condition or we can pay prove one way and then retrace the steps for those that delta and show that the limit is um, uh, limit of 10 plus 2x over 3 is equal to 4. Hope this video helps.